the world we know today is hidden with thousands of gems we still have yet to uncover. However, along this vast world lies a beauteous land. A land that holds many stories of the past and untold events. Let me take you on to the journey across the beauties of the state of Manipur, located in the northeast part of India. To start off our adventure, let's traverse onto the Loktag Lake, one of the world's largest freshwater lakes that are known to hold mystifying floating islands called Fumdis. The Loktag Lake is unique in its vast regions of water, but more importantly, it is known to culture a large variety of biodiversity, hence why there is a whole civilization living on water. This place brings back lots of memories five years ago when we were traveling around the lake. But today, we're here on the lake to visit a local tourist cafe that is sitting on a large fundi that holds one great spotlight for the sunset. Most of these structures in the Loktok are built using bamboo which itself has a far greater strength against tension and stretching in its form. Living on water is one thing, but there's one question that people wonder. How do these people live out here? How do they get their education? And how do they earn wealth? The lifestyle of the inhabitants on the Lokta are very similar to the people on the surface actually. Instead of cars and trucks, they use canoes to travel to their schools, jobs, businesses, markets, and also for fishing. On the lake lies an enormous fumdi that measures across 15 square miles called the Kaibulam Jao. It is known as a national park of Manipur which holds an endangered species of brown antelope deer called the Sangai. These deers come out and graze early in the morning and evening time but unfortunately it seems to be getting very late and they were nowhere to be found during this time on top of the hilltop. Out here in the vast hilly regions of the northeast part of India and Burma border is a special tourist attraction in the Chandel district called Langol Peak. We decided to hike up this hill and check out the view of the mountain ranges and slopes that overlap this part of Manipur. Now there is a legendary myth and story called Kamba Thoibi, which is almost like the Romeo and Juliet of Manipur type of story, where Thoibi came up to this peak and picked flowers called Thoibi Lay. And not to mention that Manipur was also a battleground between the Allies and Axis during World War II. This place is also known as a historical site for Allied soldiers setting up camp here for the days ahead against their enemies. Uh, across you see over here is Manipur. And on that side is Burma. So. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Driving up along the roads of this hill can be a bit risky as there are many narrow twists and turns. 
but I like a challenge and a risk. So here we are. If you want to see peaks like these, definitely keep Lungo Peak on your destination list. The street life of Manipur contains the richness of lifestyle and experience of the local citizens living here. The majority of the population are literally their own local entrepreneurs, selling goods and services to other people. Now that's something you don't normally see in other developed countries. Out here, they sell all sorts of various snacks and foods. A popular snack here is called Chahao Chempak and Chahao Kabok. They're basically red rice puffs and sweet rice balls. Over here, these are called pan lokabis. They're basically a plant root that are mostly found in swamp plants. These are called uris, in other words, they're called flat beans. Now this is a passion fruit. And of course, Manipur is known for notoriously having various freshwater dried fishes. So we're in the Ima market. In the real Ima market, we're gonna go. We're going in. That's it. Going in. The Ima market is called the Mother's Market, where this is the only large market where no men but only women can sell goods here, such as clothes, jewelry, handcrafts, and various household appliances and whatnot. Out here in the reaped rice fields, we stumble upon a farmer who seems to be digging out a bunch of underground snails for exotic cooking. Of course, it looks like we got a little too curious. But overall, these rice fields help supply Manipur with fresh rice throughout the year, which is one of Manipur's main source of staple food. And it's also a beautiful place to see, so why not check it out? And last but not least, this magnificent structure is called the Kongjum War Memorial of 1891 where an armed conflict between the British Empire and the Manipur Kingdom, also known as the Anglo-Manipuri War, laid siege to numerous casualties. This memorial is in honor for all the fallen soldiers in the battle, and this is definitely one spot you should add to your destination list here in Manipur.